Everything around us is made of atoms and they're very, very tiny. An atom is about a tenth of a thousandth of a millionth of a metre. Or in other words, if you put 10,000 million atoms side by side, they'd only be about a metre long. So there's probably about 10,000 million atoms along here, and there's probably about 10,000 million atoms along here. So the total number of atoms on the top of this table is just amazing. It's an enormous number. And atoms are made up of charged particles, uh, positive protons, negative electrons, and there's some neutral neutrons in there as well. And the amazing thing is, out of the billions and billions and billions and billions of these charged particles, the great majority of them balance perfectly so that it's completely neutral, so there's no charge. Even though it's made up of billions of charges, billions and billions and billions of charges, the whole table remains neutral because there's this perfect balance. Now, if you can separate the charge for a while, so you put some of the positive on one side and some on the negative on the other, there's a force of attraction because opposites attract then you can, that's basically what electricity is. You can use that force of attraction. Now, there are some naturally occurring minerals that do that. This is quartz. It's a beautiful crystal. And the atoms are packed together so regularly that even though there's billions and billions of them, you actually see the way the atoms are packed together because that results in the beautiful crystal. Now, quartz is what's called a, called a piezoelectric material. And it has this amazing property that if you bend it, when you bend it, for a moment, the charge is separated. One side of the crystal goes positive, one side goes negative. You can actually make electricity this way. Now, I'm not really strong enough to bend a big crystal like this, but I've got a tiny bit of piezoelectric material here. This is the white thing on this metal disc. And I've wired the top and the bottom to a little light. And if I flick the crystal, I can bend it and you can see it actually lights the little bulb and generates electricity. So this is what a piezoelectric material can do. You bend it and it produces electricity. Actually, if you put electricity on it, you can also cause it to bend. If you put electric electrical signals going on and off very quickly on the crystal, you can make it bend very quickly and it becomes like a loudspeaker. In fact, this little device came from a smoke detector. It's the thing that makes the bleep in a smoke detector. So this is a lovely little demonstration of piezoelectricity.